So in this video, we're going to talk about the rules of logarithms. Now, if you look in, in most textbook uh, textbooks, they're going to have uh, several uh, rules or properties uh, stated for you, uh, all of which are correct and, and very important. But uh, I think we're probably going to be okay if, if we just understand three of them. If you understand three of them, uh, these three that I give you, uh, the other ones will come uh, from them and hopefully um, won't be as, as difficult to understand. Um, so the three rules of logarithms that we're going to talk about uh, to start, we'll go ahead and, and start with the power rule. The power rule says that if you have log base a of x raised to the r, then this r can actually be brought down in front to say r times log base a of x. And when I give you all of these, these properties, uh, we're assuming uh, under the correct domains, uh, for example, x would need to be uh, bigger than 0. Uh, so there's the power rule. You can take the exponent uh, and bring it down in front. Uh, the product rule says that if we have log base a of x times y, that this is the same as log base a of x plus log base a of y. The quotient rule for logarithms says something similar. If you have log base a of x divided by y, again the, the, the quotient of x and y has to give us a positive number, and in this case y can't be 0, uh, that's going to be log base a of x minus log base a of y. So hopefully the names make sense. Uh, the power rule because you have a power that you're bringing down. Uh, the product rule because you have log of a product. And the quotient rule because you have log of a quotient. Now, um, we're going to go ahead and actually prove a couple of these. Uh, and and as, you, as we prove them, I, I hope that you see the connections between uh, not only the, the logarithmic properties, um, but really what a logarithm is. Um, and so let me go ahead and get the first one up here, uh, and we'll talk a little more about it. So to prove the product rule, which is the first one that we're going to start with, I'm actually going to go ahead and start off with um, two separate uh, logarithmic equations. Uh, so I'm going to have y sub 1 equals log base a of x sub 1, and y sub 2 equals log base a of x sub 2. Uh, so the two are, are denoted differently by their subscripts of 1 and 2. Now, I'll go ahead and I'll take both of them separately and put them in their exponential form. Uh, so this first one, we'd have a raised to the y sub 1 equals x sub 1. And the second one would be a raised to the y sub 2 equals x sub 2. Now, uh, being the product rule, I'll, I'll now take x sub 1 and multiply it by x sub 2, uh, which means a raised to the y1 times a raised to the y2. And now we're in a position where we can take advantage of an exponent rule. Um, we have our bases the same. We're multiplying. So to combine these, we would actually go ahead and add the exponents. So right now we're looking at a statement of x1, x2 equals a raised to the y1 plus y2. So at this time now, I'll go ahead and I'm going to go back into logarithmic form. Back into logarithmic form says that y1 plus y2 equals log base a of x1 times x2, uh, which, if you look carefully, the y1 plus y2 would be this guy plus this guy. So log base a of x1 plus log base a of x sub 2. And by transitioning into that, we've just proven uh, that when you take the log of a product, it can be broken apart uh, into a log of a sum. So now we're ready to prove the power rule. And this is the one that's a little bit harder to see initially. Uh, but now that we've, we've talked about the product rule uh, in much more detail, I think this one will make sense. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll start with uh, log base a of x to the r. Now, we know that if you have a base, for example, of 3 and you raise it to the fourth power, that says that you're going to multiply the base by itself the exponent number of times. So in this case, we would have x 
times x times x times x, and there would be r of them multiplied by each other. So right now what we're looking at is log of a product, several products for that matter. So these can be expanded now into log base a of x plus another log base a of x plus several more log base a of x's. Uh, and because we started with r of them here, we have r of them here. Now, uh, back to just a simple uh, arithmetic or algebra uh, type of explanation. Uh, if we change all of these to pluses, let's say 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, uh, well, that's the same thing as having 4 times 3 because there's 4 of them. So if in our case, we're going to have r times log base a of x. And if you look at where we started and where we finished, that's the desired result.